In the last video we talked about collections, a module that doesn't get enough love in Python. In today's video we're talking about enums. Now it, it gets a little bit more love than collections does, it's a little bit more well known, but it is very useful and you know people don't use it when they should really. So I want to you know just make people aware in case they didn't know about it and hopefully you'll learn something new because there is actually something I learned fairly recently about enums in this video as well that's actually a really cool thing and a really cool way to use them. So we're going to create a, um, a file just called enum.py and we're going to do from enum import enum. So this enum is something that classes inherit. So you would have say a separate class, maybe state, and then it would inherit enum like this. And what you do here is you just pass class attributes to certain values. So if you were to do a game, for example, we might be, I want to have a playing state, which will just set to zero a paused state, which we'll just set to one, and a game over state that we just set to two. In some instances, the uh, the actual value, so the zero, one, and two in this case, won't actually matter. In some instances they will, but in some instances they won't. If they don't matter, what we can do is you can import auto as well, and you can have this auto uh, here, and it will basically just make sure that the values are unique. You know, it doesn't necessarily matter what they are uh, in this particular instance. All we need to determine is whether we're playing paused or game over. So we can just set this to auto and it'll automatically select a value that is unique. And then from here, we could just do print uh, state dot playing. Uh, and then we do enum tuts. And then it just, you know, uh, prints the state dot playing. So simple enough. Uh, this is more useful if you had, say, you know, a state variable, which is state dot playing. Anyway, if state e uh, double equals state dot playing, uh, and then you know, do the logic. This is where you, you know, it would work. Uh, let's actually see what the value of it would be when it's on auto, because I don't know what it would pick. It might just pick uh, zero, and it'd be helpful if I actually printed the value. That'd be. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh, it picked one. Okay, that's fair enough. It picked one in that case. Um, but yeah, it always prints something unique for, or, or sorry, it always chooses something unique, does it? It's always one uh, for each of these things. So that is a really simple, you know, overview of enums. I'll put that if statement back just for the people that didn't see it before. There we go. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, there are more complicated ways of uni uh, using enums, but this, you know, they really are that simple in concept. And you may have some other uses for them. And in this I actually want to show you a real life example of an enum that, well I say I created, it was contributed, but it, it was it's used in one of my now slightly abandoned libraries, I haven't updated it in a while. And it is this. So this is a message type, so this is an API wrapper for YouTube chatbots. And each message uh, in the JSON has a message type. And it can be any one of these. And we have, the, uh, you know, the actual constant uh, key here and the variable here. So this is how it appears in the API. And one really cool thing you can do is if you get, you know, say the value from the API, you know, say the value is chat ended event. And you can do a uh, message type and then initialize it with this value. And what it would do is it will then print the enum variable for it, which is actually really cool. I didn't know that was a thing for ages. And I just experimented with it thinking, oh, maybe this will work. And it actually did. And it, it was really cool. So I just thought I'd show it off for other people that didn't know about that. But this is, yeah, this is one really useful um, way of, uh, of using enums. You may be asking why not just have this value here. The answer is, Enums are just good practice. You know, I like enums. I suppose in this particular instance, it would be preferential. You know, there are other ways to do this. But enums just provide a clear, clean interface for this sort of thing. And I don't know, I just like them. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, then hit the like button to let me know and leave a comment if you have any questions or feedback. If you really like the video then consider subscribing, if you really really like the video then consider either joining on Patreon down below or using the join button to become a member 
If you pay one pound a month on either platform, you can be on the end screen like these people here. And I will see you in the next video where we talk about data classes. One other particularly useful thing um, that's in Python that people don't really know about or use enough in my opinion. So I'll see you for that.